Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Eurexel First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of the book of Zechariah in Zechariah 14, verse 2. Speaking of the end times and the final battle against Israel, the final conquest of the Antichrist over Israel. And it says, And I, for I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses looted, and the women raped. Half the city will go into exile but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And so this is the really bad news. And we hear this this verse, we hear about God gathering these people here, all these enemies of Israel, the Antichrist and his army. And it's a really, really bad situation. And of course, it, it is appropriate for us to ask why. Why would God allow the cities to be plundered? Plundered? Why would God allow the people to go into exile? Why would God allow the women to be raped? Why? Well, it says, "I will gather these nations here." And, and truthfully, the the answer is so He will for two reasons, really. One, and then the four most important, is to bring the people of Israel to the end of themselves. The people of Israel still stand in rejection of Jesus Christ as a whole. Now, there are some Messianic Jews who have accepted Jesus, but overall, Jew the Jewish people reject Jesus as Lord. And so he wants to bring them to the end of themselves. He wants to get them to look up to God, to say, we cannot do this ourselves, and then present them the Savior that is Jesus. Because it says, even though it seems hopeless and bad, and even though it seems like the people of Israel will be, be overcome, it says, then... Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as he fought on the day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives which lie before Jerusalem on the east. The Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west by a very wide valley. And one third of the mountain shall withdraw northward and the other southward. Word. And so this is this, this mighty power of Jesus. Uh, just picture the people of Israel in distress and in, in turmoil and, and, and just in a terrible situation. And they cry out to the Lord and then they see this Jesus, this one that they have rejected for all those years. Yet he is still their Savior. He is still their God. And he is coming to rescue them. He did not abandon them. And he will not let the Antichrist or the armies overcome the people of Israel because he is the Lord and he will personally fight those battles and the spiritual application that we can draw to today is first and foremost the lord jesus is coming again if you don't believe that i encourage you to pick up your scriptures he is physically coming again he will touch down on the mount of olives but number two is it is not up to us to fight the battles he fights the battles we we are his vessels we are his his instruments we are the ones who ought to be used by him but it is him and it is jesus who is with us it is jesus who gives us the strength and it is that very same jesus who has not forgotten us and will not forsake us amen